Colin, great to catch up with you and a big occasion coming up, the New Zealand Arable Awards. Tell us a wee bit about this. Thanks, Mark. It's good to, good to catch up again. So we've got the New Zealand Arable Awards um, um, getting kicked off again for the second year. So this this um, the awards night is on the 10th of August and currently the um, nominations are open. So Colin, what sort of areas are covered? What sort of awards are handed out? Yeah, there's a, the, it's across the whole spectrum, Mark. And the thing about the Arable Awards, it covers all parts of the sector. So, yep. for example, we've got innovation, and this could be some someone that's got something new or um, or innovative, I suppose. And then we've got emerging talent. So this is for new people coming and getting involved in the sector. Uh, we've got the ag- agronomic person who these are people who give advice to farmers. We've mm-hmm. got an environmentally sustainable um, award, and then we've got the obviously the arable food champion and the full mm-hmm. blown arable award for the um, the top outstanding arable. Uh, of the year we've got a plant breeder award and we've got the um the three crop types we've got the small seeds farmer which is the grass seed and clover seed we've got the um the grains one which is the wheat and barley and we've got a maize award there so yeah we're really proud to um launch this off again for the second year in a row mark it's um it sort of was we we got it going last year and we're absolutely blown away with the um outstanding response um on the night so I was really wrapped with that so yeah looking forward to it. So why would you encourage people to enter and and you know because I mean a lot of farmers are sort of a bit loath to you know put their their names forward why, why would you suggest it's a, it's a good idea for them to have a go? Well it's about um, being proud of what we do and um, you know our sector produces about one one billion dollars um, of farm gate sales to the country so it's I, I guess it's not big compared with our other um, our other uh, pastoral farmers you know but but i think it all starts with the seed you know and that that produces the pastures that produce going to produce the milk and milk and meat for the country um but it's about um celebrating our successes and being proud of what we do um because you know as farms and growers we get a bit of a hard time um and this is about producing excellence um or demonstrating excellence out to the, the the general public, I suppose. It's in August, the event. So w- w- when do the when do the awards close? The um, nominations close at the end of May, right. and um, and the website is arableawards.co.nz. So um, mm. yeah, so yeah, just anyone anyone who's got any um, any thoughts of any outstanding um, people involved in the whole arable sector. So the thing about the arable sector, or especially these awards, Mark. We've brought the four um, representation representative groups together. So that's Federated Farms, Arable, we've got United Wheat Growers, we're at the Grain and Seed Trade Association, and we've got the Foundation for Arable Research. So um, trying to encompass the whole, uh, all the players, I suppose. So Colin, we'll move on from the awards and uh, the situation. Uh, you've had a pretty good autumn by all accounts. Uh, you had a great harvest by all accounts. So uh, how are we all set up now? Yeah, no, it's been going really well, Mark. I think that there's a wee bit of pushback with some of the prices um, at the moment. So I think the pricing has to still still settle down a bit. Mm. You know, a lot of the lot of the um, grain prices were up near six fifty a ton last year, mainly because of the poor harvest, mm. um, and it's causing coming under a lot of pressure. Um, and the purchasers are sort of walking a wee bit at the price. So I'm mm. expecting it to drop down into the sort of low five hundred. So. Mm. Um, so, you know, no one likes to get a reduced price, but you've got to remember someone needs to buy the everything we sell. So it's all the um, impact mm. with that. I suppose the, the cost of growing our crops have been up quite a bit with fertiliser and, and fuel and all that, but they're on the downward downward um, track at the moment. Mm. So mm. it's mm. that kind of work bad cost price um, scenario out and hopefully there's a wee bit, of, wee bit left in the, at the end of the day.